Hello, everybody. This is Drew with the Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. I wanted to show you guys this slab I got in recently. Um, I got it for super cheap, um, but it ends up selling for crazy numbers on eBay. Um, if you're at a show or something, keep an eye out for these uh, slabs. Uh, you will do very well with them. But let's just get right into the video. Hello everybody, this is Drew. I wanted to show you guys a few coins today. Uh, first, we're going to be introducing this very rare uh, 2.1 uh, generation NGC slab. So, I'm going to tell you a quick story about this uh, slab before I tell you kind of what it's worth. And, um, I don't know, this, this slab was actually found at a show down in Tyler, Texas. Uh, I was walking around the booths and everything, and I researched uh, a slab like this and I know these slabs go for a lot just because of this white label here so if there's basically just the white label no background um, that's something you should look out for for an NGC uh, fatty you can also tell by the side that it's more of a, f a fatty holder and you can see the gold uh, writing on the back now the 2.0 uh, which is different from the 2.1 is which I have in my hand the 2.0 has the, uh, the writing on the inside of the slab and the 2.1 has the writing on the outside of the slab. So that's how you can tell the difference. Um, but like I said, I was walking along the booths and I knew this slab was very expensive if, uh, if I were to get it. And so I asked uh, the dealer, he said, hey, or I said, hey, can I look at this coin and this coin? You know, I wanted to see what he had on him. Um, and then he picked up his gray sheet. So I was like, I know. <laughs> When you pick up when he picked up his gray sheet, I knew that he didn't know what the slab was, and so I knew I was getting it for a great deal. So I ended up paying fifty dollars for this this coin, um, and it's going to be sitting in the personal collection for a while. But let me put a sold comp on the screen of a 1926 that sold recently on eBay. Um, this coin is almost the same caliber as that one. It's a little bit this one's a little bit more of a common date. Um, but the way you make money in this industry, from my opinion, is just having more knowledge than the next guy. And so what I did with this holder is I walked around, basically. I walked around and said, hey, what's wrong, what, what's, what's wrong with this, this picture here? Or uh, do you know anything about this? I asked like five or six dealers at the show. They had no idea what I was talking about. One said, oh, it's, it's a 1928. I'm like, no, it's a 1923. Nobody knew this holder was worth anything. A whole dealer day before passed by and nobody knew and so when I bought it um, I knew I was getting a, a good deal for it and I'm extremely happy and lucky to have bought this coin and I got like a bunch of messages on Instagram asking about it but I'm just gonna keep it for now just because you don't see these every day and I don't know I really like the coin so but I wanted to show you guys a few other coins from the show, uh, some more uh, toned coins, and also some more uh, deep mirror proof like proof like coins as well, uh, and some more key date stuff. So this is 1890 O, Morgan silver dollar. Um, the reason why I bought this coin is because uh, it has this beautiful rim blue toning to it, and so with uh, tougher dates like the 90 O, this coin is you know in 64 it's a little bit more expensive, but it's like a 175 dollar coin. Um, so when I saw this blue rim toning on it, I thought, you know what, uh, finding toning on a, a higher or a more tougher date is worth buying. So I ended up buying this coin um, for my toned customers, and I really like the vibrancy of it. I think it's pretty beautiful, and uh, yeah, it's a really ne neat piece. Uh, the next coin I wanted to show you guys today was this monster. So this is a 1934D uh, piece dollar graded MS65. So MS64 is, is pretty cheap, I think. It's it's pretty low. I think it's like a third of what MS65 price guide's for. Um, I asked, I, I talked to a dealer the other day and he's like, you know, I just want to get rid of this coin and I don't really care what happens to it. And so I bought it for like under gray sheet. And so when someone offers you a coin that's a key date under gray sheet with true views and some decent toning when you pull up the true view, 
then it's worth your buy. And so what I, I bought this coin, and surprisingly, when I put put this up for a bin um, on the Facebook group, someone bought it in like six minutes. So uh, it's it's an extremely rare uh, piece to find on 65 and higher. And so uh, I really I'm really glad with the sale on this coin. Now, for all your uh, deep mirror proof like guys out there, this one might blow your socks off. This is an 1880s MS64 DPL. This coin, I mean, just look at the mirrors. Like, it's just black. You know what I mean? And that's kind of what you want for a DPL coin. I see a lot of DPLs that are like, you know, washy, almost like blast white. Uh, but this coin is not one of those, man. This thing is amazing. Uh, I, when you buy deep mirror proof like coins, uh, the ones that are, would sell quicker are the ones that are more what someone would imagine a deep mirror proof like would be black fields, uh, really frosty devices, and this coin met all of those. And when I picked it up, I knew I had to buy it, even if uh, you know, even if they wanted more than what I was what I was gonna pay. I think this coin is just a mover, and people love uh, just. I don't know, just the contrast on this coin. Man, it's really nice. And I want to show you guys two more beautiful coins today. A uh, little bit of a pair. So I bought these also at the show. These are two 1916Ds created AG3. If you see these anywhere, man, you got to just buy them. Like, people, people want these really, really bad. And... Um, I bought both of these for a good price. I bought them over what price guide even was asking, but I knew that once I posted them, people would buy them up, and uh, I was extremely fortunate to buy these. Um, the thing about that I want to talk to you guys about today also is that if you were to buy like a normal, like just say a 1921 MS64, something like that, I'm going to set these aside. But Say if you were to buy like a, a regular 1921 MS64 Morgan dollar and you bought it for like 60 bucks. So, and say you were to make like 15 bucks on it maybe to, when you sell it. Um, the thing about that is that it's just, it's so common that many people don't uh, really like. You know, it's so common that so many people have it already that it becomes very hard for me as a dealer to sell. And so what I do when I go to shows is I buy just a small group of things you know to make a lot of money on rather than buying a lot of smaller things because the, it's gonna take me the same amount of energy to list something that's more rare and expensive and a key date than another coin that is not a key date um, it, it's gonna take me the same amount of time so why would I spend more time or equal amount of time on a coin that's lesser value um, so I guess my advice for a coin dealer out there is that you should look for look at the more pricier coins, see what you can get away with um, in terms of finding it for the right price. Um, so I, I've really just stayed away from, you know, common date 1880s MS64s and all that stuff for me, it just takes so much energy that I would rather work with stuff like this if you're going to be selling from home. I understand though if you're in... Um, if you're in a shop or something like that, that you would want to uh, buy everything that people come in with because you're getting it for a good deal, and that's understandable. Um, but with all the pandemic and everything that's going on and the shutdowns and, and stuff that's continuing to happen, I would say for a stay-at-home dealer that buying quality over quantity is more important. It's, it's the way that you're going to be making most of your money, and it's going to take up less of your time. And... The way I've been doing it uh, for the past few months has been buying qu quantity over quality, and this past like month and a half, I've really changed the way I've thought about coins, and I just been buying choice premium quality coins instead of uh, the bulk of stuff, you know, and you know stuff that you don't see every day is what you should be looking for, and key date stuff. Uh, most of the stuff that I've listed, like those uh, dimes. And also that 34D, like I was telling you guys, sold in just minutes. Like, they're, they're selling quickly. People are looking for them. They can't find them. And so when you find them at a show and you know how to price them and find them, I would say, like, go for it. Buy it. Um, find the right customer for it. And it, it will sell over a common date coin. And 
So I hope you guys enjoyed these groups of coins today. Um, I'm just so stoked and happy to show you guys these. They were an amazing group. And the Tyler Show, um, if you guys are ever in Texas, uh, they had a Tyler Show this weekend, but they should be having one soon, I believe. Um, I would recommend you guys going. And the only reason why I say that is because smaller shows sometimes are better. There was like 30 dealers there, and they were really nice, and they like to help you and work with you uh, when they can. And so what I would recommend for any uh, small time guy or like me and many others is sometimes the best shows are the closest shows or the shows that only have 30 dealers because you can talk with people. Um, there's not a lot of flow in. There's not a lot of people flowing in at that time. And so you can really make deals and uh, get to know connections rather than when you're in a big show. They're constantly working, constantly going, and you don't have much time to work with dealers. And a lot of stuff sells quickly. That's pretty good. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching this part of the video. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Um, if you want to watch any of our other videos, please subscribe. We come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys in the next video.